the study abroad program manager in Hong Kong. Uh, you're on Yun campus in Hong Kong right now. Um, so the campus has partially reopened in mid-May and after uh, working from home from so long, starting from the end of January, it's great to be back on campus. Uh, the campus is not fully open yet. It's only for open for staff and only on certain days too. Um, most of the days we still work from home during the weekdays. Uh, only once or twice a week do we come back and this arrangement is going to continue until mid-June and then the senior management will then again reevaluate and see it will fully open the campus to staffs and hopefully later in the summer we'll open back up fully. Um, maybe for students and staffs as well, or students, hopefully that's the case. Um, so yeah, uh, we still have to wear masks on campus. Um, I work in an open space area, and so uh, instead of having colleagues working in an open space, we're all assigned a study room or a office room where we could work in. Um, and then we have other guidelines and arrangements in general to work on campus. Um, I'll show you a little bit here and there, or as you have seen, um, we have to wash our hands, check in our temperatures when we come in and out of the campus. Um, I'll also show you other parts of Hong Kong, while well, mostly the neighborhood nearby of the campus, uh, Kennedy Town. You'll see that a lot of businesses has reopened, uh, even though some of them has actually closed uh, due to government regulations during the last two months. Some of them are actually reopening this week as well uh, under the government uh, instructions. But mostly you'll see that the, uh, the city itself has pretty much gone back to normal. So yeah, hopefully uh, this is a little bit of Hong Kong that you'll see uh, and you'll get to know what's happening here. So, this is the study room that I'm assigned to on the first floor of the campus. Uh, we're given these hand sanitizers and also uh, disinfecting wipes to use in this, in this area. Uh, of course, uh, every room that has a staff will have one of these. Um, let's see if we could find other staff members here. So say hi to Eva. And Angela, okay. uh, <laughs> say hi to study abroad. <laughs> yes, so there you go. <laughs> so they're having a little meeting on their work, or else they're not gonna be in the same room. <laughs> um, there's not a lot of staff members here um, right now because um, everyone's assigned a certain day to come back. Today is kind of like the university team members, and so. There's only a few of us here. Um, the booth members aren't here right now. So yeah, the, the staff room is kind of empty right now. So this is the student lounge area. Um, again, our students can use this area for their own study purposes, for lunch, for chit chat time. Um, yeah, and of course there's the stunning sea view that you can see here from the student lounge area. Yay! <laughs>
so generally when you go inside you can see there you go um, a lot of restaurants are open but then they also have regulations where you have to check your body temperature uh, before you could go in and also sanitize your hands and so Russians, restaurants are doing their part in reopening um, the gyms are also open gyms like these have also reopened uh, after being closed, forced to be closed for a month and a half. Um, they've made regulations on the gyms where uh, if it's group classes, there can't be more than 12 people in a class. Um, of a public gatherings can't be more than 8 people. Uh, just to be on the safe side, it used to be no more than 4. So if you have a family of 5 and you want to eat outside, you're most likely going to be separated. One of you or two of you have to be seated in different tables. 